Having me, Sharon, you know, eight short years ago, I was sitting where all of you are at Camp Canvas. Who here was at Camp Canvas? Woo! All right. So, you know, both as a customer and now an instructor employee, I'm always so inspired by our latest innovations. So I feel really honored that I get to share these with you today. So we're going to start with the teacher journey by taking a look at uh, how, we, how we have the ability to create high quality content and evaluations, provide faster, more personalized feedback for our students, as also, and also differentiate and provide additional resources for our students. So we're going to start that journey today uh, by building a lesson for our students using our new block editor. So you'll see that I can uh, create a page from uh, scratch or with the use of pre-designed page layouts using templates. But I really want to show you just how easy it is to create from scratch using the new block editor. So when I create from scratch, I can choose what elements I want to add to my page. Don't worry, we can always add more of these later. And the color palettes that I have available, available are all fully accessible, as well as font pairings that are going to promote the proper use of screen reader technologies. And look at that, my page is built. Wow. I can very easily drag and drop these uh, elements around. You know, a lot of times we hear the need to create more engaging content, and so we can easily do that. As I add new content to this page, I'm going to add a single quiz question. What? <laughs> And so now after I've added this quick check throughout this lesson, maybe I'm ready to add additional content below that quick check. And I'll go ahead and add another block of content. And now, of course, all of this is editable. I can rearrange these in the orders I want as the uh, lesson comes together. But let's see what this is looking like from a student's perspective. I can go into preview mode. And of course, I'm on a desktop device now, so I'm taking a look at this in desktop mode. We also know that our students are looking at content with a tablet, as well as most frequently probably devices, and so we can take a look at that. How fast and easy was that, Sharon? Incredible. Block editor is going to fundamentally change the way you create course content. Built into Canvas by default, it's obviously going to speed up your workflows, it's going to save you time and course design, but really importantly, it's going to build with accessibility in mind, and it's going to account for instructional design best practices as it's built. Okay, so some of you are probably aware that we just uh, released the first phase of our Rubrics Redesign Initiative. Uh, so now that we've created a lesson, let's evaluate students with the latest rubric features. Here I have all of the rubrics in my course. I can sort my rubrics now. I can also search for a rubric. Yay! I also uh, can see where is that rubric currently being used. And I also can edit, duplicate, archive this rubric if I need to. <laughs> All right, and now let's take a look to see just how easy it is uh, to work with building a rubric. It's really a new superior uh, user experience. So as I edit a criterion, if I want to add additional ratings, I can simply hover over an existing one and go ahead and add that. Yay! All right, and now let's see what rating with rubrics will be like now. So of course we have the current traditional view that you'll be able to choose from, but we're now introducing a horizontal view, Yay. as well as a vertical view. And you'll be able to make your selection in speed grader on which rubric experience you prefer to grade with. Wow. All right. So now that we've built some new content for our students, we've used new tools to evaluate students. Let's check in on the engagement of our students, uh, particularly with a discussion. I'm going to use our new discussion summary to quickly summarize an ongoing discussion. So here you'll see I now have a new summarize button. Go ahead and select that. And by selecting sum, uh, summarize, I'm going to receive an AI generated summary of all the students' responses. If there's a particular area of the discussion that I really want to narrow in on, I can go ahead and do that. 
this discussion was really related to some predictions students were making. So I really want to understand that specifically within their responses. So now I'm getting a summary that is specific just to the prediction students made. Discussion summaries are particularly useful in large courses with high enrollments. As you all know, often really great content can get buried in threads. And so as a teacher, discussion summaries are going to surface that great conversation to me without needing to dig for that. Uh, and also as the conversation continues, these summaries are just going to update as the, that conversation uh, continues. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Rachel. This is only visible to teachers, right? Oh yes, great point, yes. Important detail. <laughs> And Rachel, as an educator, I know you never waited the last possible second right before your class to go through and summarize the content of your discussions. I, I would never do that. Well, in all seriousness, we know educators are time strapped, and we think that this is going to be such an incredible time savings for you as it keeps you engaged in the conversation with your students. All right, so now that we have a pulse on the engagement of the class from a discussion perspective, we're going to transition over to speed grader where we want to get a pulse on how individual students are doing and provide some feedback. We can now personalize video feedback even further with screen capture. Here, yes. uh, here I have a screen capture I recorded to point out specific strengths and opportunities to improve this submission. So previously in SpeedGrader, we could annotate student work and we could record video feedback, but with the release of screen capture, we can now bring both of those types of feedback together in one place. So this is really going to open the doors for project-based learning support, as well as hands-on activities that might require a little bit of additional explanation. And while we're here, we also added the ability to randomly, support, uh, randomly sort students here in SpeedGrader. So remember those customer discovery sessions I was talking about earlier? This is all you. This is one of those things that came directly out of those customer feedback sessions. Yeah, that's right, Sharon. And here's a, another quick one. Uh, you wanted additional criteria for messaging students, so we've expanded those options as well. So here yes. I have a uh, message prepared to go to students who have not yet submitted to this uh, assignment, but now I can skip my excused uh, students. So this is really going to make communication far more relevant for students because I'm truly only receiving messages that apply to me. If I'm receiving this message and I had that uh, assignment excused, that wouldn't feel very relevant. And so we have made those uh, updates for you and a few others that you'll see throughout message students do as well. Okay, so uh, as the most used LMS in higher ed and K-12 in North America, we're seeing more and more examples of dual enrollment or dual credit opportunities. So I have a couple of students in this class from my local high school that are enrolled uh, in my psychology course. I'd like to share some specific resources related to the dual enrollment program just for those students. So I've actually created a module here for those students. I now can go ahead and assign this uh, module specifically to subsets. And as you all know, the opportunities and the possibilities for differentiating modules for students is really endless. Yeah, that makes totally sense. I, I can imagine you seeing this being used for, you've got a set of students you want to personalize for students that need more support or the ones who you want to challenge a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so uh, selective release of modules, I really feel like it's one of the key updates we've made to personalizing uh, learning for students. And it's really common when we're personalizing learning for students that they need more than one resource. We need to put a collection of resources together. Often we think of those as playlists, and uh, this is really going to enable us to do that now. Okay, so let's wrap up our time here in Canvas uh, by checking some messages we may have. Uh, before I do that, another customer feedback request we had is you wanted out of office replies and signatures, and we have that now. Yay! Okay, and as I return back to my inbox, looks like I have an unread message here from a student. 
Using our new AI Power Translation feature, Canvas is going to translate the message, identifying that my default language uh, is English and not Portuguese, which is the language that this uh, message was sent to me in. This is really an AI-powered innovation that's going to bring a new level of inclusivity to our learning communities. So I'm going to now respond back to this student. You'll notice that signature there. So I have a response back to the student, and if I wanted to, I could also choose to include a translated uh, version of this message to the student. So we are supporting over 100 languages in our translation tool. And now when I send this message to the student, it will be uh, in Portuguese, along with my English version below it. Uh, and lastly, uh, translations are going to be available in both inbox as we're seeing here, but also discussions. Wow. So Rachel, uh, I'm sure we've all seen some pretty strange automated translations. What makes this different? Yeah, we sure have. So this is really a best in class translation model. It's going beyond those typical uh, translation tools that we see. It's taking into effect things like nuance, context, uh, even figures of speech that wouldn't uh, translate literally. Amazing. So that does wrap up everything I wanted to share for our core Canvas improvements. We really just experienced some of the latest innovations and top requested features uh, the team has released over the past few months. Incredible. There's really so much in here. And what you just saw was a sneak preview of some of the things, but there's a tremendous amount more. Those customer discovery sessions revealed 60 wins that we put into the product. There's a ton of additional, uh, a ton of additional innovation in there. But the key thing here is that everything that you saw just happened. Every single thing that has been worked on in Canvas, all of that, including the AI stuff, that is included with your Canvas license, right? You get all of that for no additional cost. Everything you see.